Oh, we're seeing, I've been waiting for this race today, actually. Ready, this international please. crew here from Canada. Jill Moffat, Jennifer Casson from Canada, fifth in the Lightweight Dumb School. You might have been watching closely because they raced against our very own British combination of Image of Grant and Emily Craig, fifth to them in the World Cup last week. Go! And this heat of the stoner, it's very similar to what we saw in the Skingles girls just in the previous race. We've got the we've got the students from Bath University going up against one of the finest lightweight doubles in the world. This this Canadian crew that we're looking at at the moment, I think certainly one of my favourites for the Stoner Challenge Cup this year. We've got a lightweight double from Canada, an open weight double have come over and raced, and I think the possibility of seeing those two going head to head is, is very exciting. But out in front at the moment, they've just about broken free by the end of the island, showing just how quick they are in the opening stages. And Bath University are going to be doing all they possibly can to hold on to them for as long as they can. Back court in the bath seat there with the pink glasses in the stroke seat, Phoebe Hayden. These, this crew came through qualifiers. So if you're watching this and don't know that much about Henley, I think probably a lot of you do, but it's not a given you get a slot to come and race here. A lot of the crews have to go through a race last Friday to make the cut. Uh, a lot of people don't make the cut, and they've gone through that hard race to make the qualifying regatta, and this is who they come up against, Fergus. Yeah, you come up against, uh, well, yeah, one of the best lightweight doubles in the world, and all you can do is just give it your best shot. I mean, they're coming from a bar sculling program this year that have picked up a number of gold medals at the Bucks Regatta, the student championships here in the United Kingdom. They were first in the A final of the women's intermediate double and they won the gold medal in the intermediate court as well. So Bath Sculling is in a really strong position at the moment and is getting a test on a world stage at the moment. If you're watching this from Canada, um, Bath in the west of England, it's all, almost in Wales over there in the corner above Devon and Cornwall and actually it's, it's quite an epicenter of some of our very best rowers. We had a world-class start system there, the likes of Vicky Thornley and Glover had, had a standing race through their kind of programs. Um, so there's a very strong program here but a little bit of class here from the international double there, the black and the yellow, Moffat and Casson from Canada. Still, still actually working pretty hard there though. Yeah, they definitely will be. I think chances are they're probably racing at the third World Cup in Verizing next weekend. So they'll be using this regatta not just as racing experience, but training experience as well, and testing themselves in different racing circumstances. So perhaps in this one, knowing they're going up against the students of Bath, blast out of the start, see how well you can you can you can make your start sequence, and uh, perhaps as the as the rounds go on, they'll be experimenting with different parts as well. Bath are really giving it some there. They've not let this down, and you don't want to one on one. You want to keep that distance as close as possible. The record court then, Valsi, meant to row at Trafford Rowing Club. Myself on the world class start program. Gritting her teeth. What have they got now? A little look at the booms. How are we doing? They want to make this distance as close as possible. As we look down there towards Temple Island, who's approaching the Forley? That's a beautiful view of the Henley course with the Canadian lightweight double. Moffat and Casson out in front in this heat of the Stoner Challenge Trophy, just showing showing their class at the moment. Of course, the stroke, Jenny Casson targeting her second Olympic Games. She represented Canada in this event, the lightweight women's double skulls at the Tokyo Olympic Games, that bizarre Olympic Games with, with no fans. So for them to be able to go to Paris and get the Olympic experience that they deserve is something that they will be craving. And this winning Henley Royal Regatta will be a stepping stone for them. Probably a bit of a contrast coming to Henley, isn't it? I mean, this is a, an unparalleled racing experience. You're metres away from thousands of people on the bank. They can almost reach out, reach out and touch you. Um, and I, we're hoping they enjoy this experience. We like to see them here leading there pretty comfortably as they come at rate towards us in these final stages. See there, they've got little computers in their bow. That pink and that yellow is telling them how many strokes they're taking per minute. It's also telling them how fast they're going. So they've got a GPS inside of there. They'll know exactly how fast they're going. You can see there, stroke seat. Jenny Casson has a little watch attached to her oar as well, so it's probably got her heart rate recorded. 
we use stats as well as we want to see our speed what's happening how hard are we trying what's our speed doing yes it's out in the open we're on a bit of water that we're pushing against but we can look at these metrics and see where we can prove we talk about these one percenters these tiny things to change and at the highest elite level we're looking at professional athletes here the highest elite level what are the one percenters we can change to be the fastest in the world yeah it makes all the difference if you can just find that, that thing that the opposition aren't doing you can you can find the setup in the boat the rigging uh, that's going to make the difference and if it's, if it's going to win your gold medal at the olympic games or if it's going to qualify you for for those olympic games or that you've got to find it great shot there bath there coming into the, the final third of this race great racing experience with phoebe head and rebecca court 22 and 20 years of age Again, we keep saying it's the start of their careers. They're 10 years younger than this crew you're seeing here from Canada. It takes that experience, that savviness, that training load to get good at your sport. Yeah, it certainly does. Phoebe Hayden graduating this year, having studied health and exercise science at the University of Bath. However, Rebecca Court at Bow, she's just in her first year. So she's got a couple more years at Bath. Perhaps she'll stay and do a master's as well, but she's studying sports science at the moment and she'll certainly be craving to come back and race having had this experience of racing one of the best crews in the world okay double taken the rate is striking down slightly you can see them a little bit more comfortable not take as many strokes a minute as they approach the gathering closures into this final few hundred meters of the race. You can just compare and contrast the two styles at the moment. Canada so relaxed, so comfortable at the moment, despite the choppy water that we're seeing. There's, there's that tailwind that we've mentioned that is out in the course at the moment, but just out of shot at the moment is the, it's all the boats and barges just bumbling their way up and down the river just off the side of the course and all the wash from that while the booms may stop some of it we can still see the water just bouncing away and the way that the canadians are just riding through that at the moment is just lovely to watch on and see be some of our big rivals of the british women's lightweight double who are the fastest double in the world right now i could say that with some confidence because they broke the world record imogen grant and emily craig raise the world cup so that we know these crews have got some tight competition, but we're not seeing the British double here this weekend. The Canadians, as Fergus pointed out, are probably up there as one of the favourites of this event as they're coming past the enclosures. Look at the crowds of people. They've all come out on a Thursday to clap these crews through to appreciate their hard work, their training, and to really have an opportunity to see this high-level elite growing here in these Olympic crews racing down. Great experience for this bath crew. It certainly is, and it's a real, it's a real testament to the to the start program, the GB start program we've got going down there at Bath. Of course, by Dan Harris, Tom Selby, and this crew in particular, Will England is leading them. They cross the finish line there. This Thursday race. The Stony Challenge Cup, that's a win for Moffat and Casson. Stoner against Courtenhayden of Bath. 